My name's Charlie Flynn and I'm the 2014 Commonwealth Games Gold Medalist. I've got a professional boxing record of 7-0 and, oh, and I'm willing to try my hand at anything that might help me become the next lightweight champion of the world. I'm here with my mate Brian, who pro judo, and he's going to put me through my paces here today on the judo mats. What can I expect? <laughs> hey, a big excitement, mate. Do some throws, we'll do some pins, some chokes, and some arm locks. That sounds quite scary. <laughs> nothing, nothing you can't handle. <laughs> Why are you wearing a black belt and I'm wearing a white? What's that all about? Because I'm better than you. <laughs> no, when, we, when we do judo, you, you first come and, and you get a suit and you get a white belt to wear. And then what happens is, as you learn and you progress, test you and examine you on what you've learned. Right. So you would go for your white belt to your red belt, then your yellow, then orange, then green, then blue, then brown, and eventually your black. Yeah, black. Takes a lot of dedication, a lot of time, a lot of hard work. What's the deal with these 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 outfits, you know, as you see it in all the karate films and all that, is that what, is that what that's all about? Well, well the judo suits are, are thicker than karate suits because the judo suits we've got to use them to pull each other about the mat and if you had a wee thin suit on they would just strip. It's a combat sport but I'm used to throwing punches and there's none of that in judo, is there? What's, what's the score with it? Well, what, what would happen, judo comes from a martial art called jiu-jitsu. They had punching and kicking involved in that. When somebody goes to punch you, what happens, you, you get in close. And when you get in close, that's when judo comes in. Because when you get in close, your opponent gets a hold of you, flips you to the throw, floor, holds you down, or arm locks you, or pins you. Well, I've got Max here with us. Max is in the Institute of Sport for Scotland, and he's going to put you through your pace today, so I hope you're ready. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> We're going to start off with some forward rules because often in judo we're going to be rolling around during a contest so this is a good start for a right. warm-up. Sounds good to me. I'm going to watch him see how he's doing this mate. Charlie, that's the warm-up over, so we're ready to move on to some judo now. Some fighting. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a throw called Ogoshi, which right. is a hip throw. Now what I need to do is step forward, take a baby step with my right foot, right. pull the sleeve up nice and high. Right. My right hand is going to go around your waist, right. then I, I pivot and turn so I'm facing the same way as you. I bend my knees, hips across, and throw you over. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> cool. There we go. <laughs> there you go. That's how it's done. Now. Right, Max. I've thrown you onto the floor now. What would happen now? If you were to keep me here, Charlie, you'd win the contest after 20 seconds. So I'm going to have to try and escape. <laughs> no, I need to escape. Or I could finish it with a right. arm lock. Well, ankle, ankle, meeting. I think we'll need to learn the armbar then. Definitely. <laughs> Throw you with little goshi. Right. And then grab your wrist with both hands. Put my foot over. Sit back into the armbar. So last up is the choke hold. Now it's quite technical, so I'm going to ask Brian to come and demonstrate for us. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm, I'm going to throw Max. Instead of Max lying on his back, letting you hold him down, what he's going to do is going to roll his hands and knees into a defensive position, and we'll do a choke from there. So I take my grip again, stepping in here. Good throw, come in, hand on the pelt, throw the leg through. Take the choke on. How's that? <laughs> So I think we're ready for a wee contest, what do you think? Yes, we're ready to go man, I've got the pin, I've got the arm bar, I've got the choke. Let's just go, let's get it on. <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> what even happened there man? <laughs> Best of three, let's go again. Jimmy! Jimmy! Hey, 
guys, it's game's on, lads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not cut out for judo. Next thing, we're taking into the boxing ring. <laughs> right guys, thanks a lot for having me in here today. I loved it, enjoyed it. For the throwing, to the grappling, to the choke holds, to everything. <laughs> it was good man, it was good. If you're watching this and you think you might fancy a bit of judo, come along to one of the 130 clubs around Scotland. Brian has got over 13 at Pro Judo in the West Coast. Come along, you never know, you might enjoy it.